Hey there, Summer Scrappers. It's Swan with Swan Amity Studios, and we are working on scrappy strip piecing to go with week two of the Summer Scrap Elimination for 2022. You'll find the link to the blog in the comments below the video. What we're looking at today is how we deal with having different scrap strip sets that are different lengths. See how we have a long one here, an even longer one here, a shorter one, a shorter one, great big long one there. As we get things out of our scrap drawers, we may find that what we have is a lot of different lengths of things, but we don't necessarily want to cut a one and a half by two and a half inch piece for each one of the sections that go in the center of our scrappy collapsible camp lanterns from our camp lanterns pattern this week. What we're aiming for is to get our six and a half by two and a half inch wide scrappy strip sets that go in the center of each one of our little camp lanterns. As we look at these guys, and we want to get them out of the longer strip sets, anytime I find two strips that are of similar length and they're not exactly the same color, I go ahead and sew those together. And I press them in whichever direction I feel good about. Here's another set, almost the same length. Go ahead and stitch those together. And then eventually I'm going to find that in order to put some of those strip sets together and keep getting different fabrics in the piece, I'm going to need to start attaching things that aren't the same size. Now, in this case, I'm going to start looking for the next little set of things. And let's move to these guys. I've got my handy dandy ideal seam guide already attached to the machine. So I'm always ready to go for the next set. And I've got my extra pieces that are just one and a half inch strips up here at the top waiting for me to find, you know, the next couple of strip sets that go together. I'm going to line up the next pieces and try to stay on the side where I have the straightest possible edge, even though I can square that edge up if I need to. So if that's not possible, don't let that be your total deciding factor. And then I'm just going to go ahead and bring those next little sections together. I need to sew on this side. So I'm going to straighten out the piece, making sure my raw edges match up. And because I've pressed in opposite directions, I can kind of use my thumbs to kind of draw those together and run those through the machine. Now, since this next section is pretty close to the same length, I'm just going to go ahead and run all the way down. and throw a little ender in there. And then let's take a look at what we have. Now, I probably have enough to cut two, possibly two more of my six and a half by two and a half inch pieces out of there. So let's go ahead and press this going in the same direction and come back to the table and see how that looks to cut from that. Okay, with my piece pressed, it looks like I have a little trimming up to do on this side. So I'm going to stay facing this direction for a minute. And I'm just going to trim up that edge so that I can get a nice straight edge. So I'm coming as close to that raw edge as I can and trim off just a little bit. But I have a nice straight edge on that side now. And let's flip our piece around, come to the other side, and check to make sure that we're relatively square, making sure that we're lined up nice and neat, and go ahead and cut away two and a half. Now, see, I misjudged this a little bit because I'm only going to be able to get that one cut out of that before I only have four pieces left, not six pieces. So at that point, I'm ready to take off the outside edge here. I can go ahead and remove that. Just a couple of little nips with my seam ripper. Pull off that back side of the stitching. 
And when I take this off now, I've got probably two more cuts I can get out of this one if I attach it to another bigger piece. So each time that we're working with these strip sets, don't necessarily cut yourself out of making strip sets just because they're uneven lengths. Go ahead and make the most of them and put them together accordingly. And then go ahead and cut what you can out of them using all of the different lengths that you have. And you'll notice I'm even hanging on to a few pieces that I can probably only get one out of. And that's okay. Sometimes we're going to have that strip set section where we just really need one more piece and we can pop those on the top and be done. So don't say no to strip sets. Don't feel like you always have to cut out uh, six one and a half by two and a half inch pieces in order to create a piece like this. Make the best out of your strip set pieces even when you are working scrappy. So this is your tip for week two of the summer scrap elimination. I hope you're having fun making camp lanterns. I know I am. I can't wait for us to see what comes at us next week.